Hey YouTube, what is going on? It's Huncho here, back with another video. In today's video, I'm going to show you guys the best way to record your clips in 2021. You guys need to stop using GeForce Experience with the Shadow Play because I know the majority of people using clips are just using that, and you need to download OBS. If you guys have not already, please hit that subscribe button. I'm going to be uploading frequently in 2021, and you guys aren't going to want to miss any of this content. As you can see right now on my OBS screen, I'm anywhere between 0.7% of my CPU usage to 1.4% while I'm recording with 30 FPS. When I'm recording at 60 FPS, you can see that I'm anywhere between 1.1 to 2% CPU usage. When I'm standing in creative like this, this was my average FPS when I'm, when I'm recording with 60 FPS in OBS. When recording with 30 FPS, you can see that my FPS is right here. I'm getting slightly higher FPS in game, but it's still not that big of a difference to where you can still record with 60 FPS. And when I'm not recording, this is what my FPS is. So I'm losing about 40 to 50 FPS to record at 60 frames per second with a high bit rate. Now using the features that I'm gonna go over right now, you can see that my average frame rate was only 30 FPS less. So I've added the OBS settings to my post install guide so if you haven't checked out that video, it's down in the description. It's a start to finish guide of downloading Windows all the way until playing the game. So for our OBS settings of what we're going to use here, we're going to go into the settings tab under output. We're going to change the mode to advanced. Some of these are going to be grayed out just because I'm recording right now. Type standard. Make sure your recording path is somewhere you can find it. You can use mp4.mov. Um, if you only have one audio track, if you have more than one, you're probably going to have to use MKV to get it to work properly. Make sure we're using the NVIDIA NVENC, not the X264, which is going to be your CPU. If you have AMD, it'll just say AMD with it. Don't rescale your output because you're just going to cause more usage. Rate control, we're going to go with a constant bit rate. As I say here, low end PC, 6,000 to 10,000 with high end over 16,000. You can play around with this number and look at your clips after and just see how they look. But as you saw in the beginning of the video, I have mine at 16,000 with my PC and it only affects my FPS about 30. Reset quality, profile high, don't check look ahead and check the visual tuning. Keep GPU on zero and max B frames on two. Then we're going to go to the replay buffer over here. Make sure you enable replay buffer and set a time anywhere between 100 seconds to 120 seconds will capture the whole fight for me and then I can just clip out the parts that I want. Under video settings, you'll most likely have a better outcome if you don't use the scaling and you just keep whatever resolution you're playing on. But if your computer really struggles to record, then if you play at like the native 1080p, downscale it to 720. Make sure you're using the sharpened scaling with the 36 samples. It's gonna give you a better quality. And then as I touched in the beginning of the FPS, you'll have to see for yourself if you have that big of an FPS difference between 60 FPS and 30 FPS. But for me, it's not that big of a difference, so I just record in the 60 FPS. Under hotkeys, make sure you select a hotkey for save replay, something that you can press kind of easily, but it doesn't have to be a super easy press on your keyboard because you're most likely gonna clip something after the kill anyway. And then under advanced, make sure you turn the process priority to above normal. This is going to make sure OBS is not cutting in and out when your CPU or GPU is getting close to 100%. For sources, make sure that you're adding a source as a game capture and under the properties, for mode, capture a specific window and then when your game's open, select Fortnite or whatever game you want it to capture. So in this video, I didn't do this part because I wanted to make sure I knew what I was recording on the screen. But if you right click on the window here and check the enable preview box so it goes away, you're actually going to get more performance out of your computer and less CPU and GPU usage because OBS isn't going to be spitting out the image that you're seeing. Please hit that subscribe button if you enjoyed this video. Turn on notifications so you don't miss any content going forward. I hope it's going to be a great year. Peace out. Is that you farting? <laughs> yeah, can you hear that? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Hell yeah. <laughs>